Which prospects are hot right now? We'll break it down next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome in to FBT in 5. As always, make sure to follow and stream us on Spotify. Today is Saturday, May 7th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Scott White. The five prospects on the verge. Adley Rutschman, Nolan Gorman, Max Meyer, O'Neill Cruz, and our latest addition, Royce Lewis. What do you have on these five? Yeah, yeah. So there, things are getting real now. Adley Rushman's rehab assignment has moved up to AAA in a very short span of time. And uh, Pirates GM is already on the record. Mike, Mike Elias is already on the record as saying he doesn't have a lot more to prove in the minors. He just has to prove he is himself. So it, it sounds like could be uh he could be nearing a, a a promotion here soon. Nolan Gorman's strikeout rate is has kind of blown up again in recent games and and so uh you know John John Mazelak, the the Cardinals president of baseball operations he's kind of said bringing Gorman up will will basically mean they're moving on from Paul DeYoung and it, you know assuming there's not an injury of course. So I don't know that they're especially eager to do that, but he's still among the top five to stash here, of course. Max Myers is somebody who seems to be getting really close to. Uh, Eliezer Hernandez, is uh, his ERA is up to 666. He hasn't looked good at all this year. And, um, and uh, the Miami Herald recently reported that the Marlins were considering making a switch there. Meyer has been awesome at AAA. He faced, uh, he, he struck out a rehabbing Ronald Acuna twice in one game. Let's not forget. So I think def- it's definitely wise to go ahead and stash him away. And yeah, Royce Lewis is kind of the man of the hour here uh, since it looks like Carlos Correa, unfortunately, um, has uh, has a, a broken hand. And Lewis, former number one overall pick, has really been playing like at a triple A this year. A lot of steals already. Uh the strikeout to walk ratio looks great. We last saw him in 2019 because you know he's been out with a torn ACL the past couple of years. He had some mechanical issues that brought his numbers down, but he seems like he solved those. It seems like he used that time away wisely to to revamp his swing and 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 start to live up to his potential as a former number one overall pick. And and yeah, this Correa injury could be his chance to break in and do some damage. All right, the five prospects that are on the periphery. These are just some prospects doing something of note as of late. Shea Langoliers with the Oakland A's, Michael Harris with the Braves, Stone Garrett with the Diamondbacks, A-plus name, that's awesome, Stone Garrett, Andrew Abbott with the Cincinnati Reds, and Royber Salinas of the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Scott, what do we have on these five? So Langoliers and Harris are the big name prospects, the one you've probably heard of already. Uh, Langoliers at 24, a, a bunch of home runs at AAA already. Favorable home environment, so maybe that's padding the stats a bit. He's blocked by Sean Murphy, of course, who's one of the few catchers who's actually hitting decently here early in the season. So I, I don't know that we're going to see Shang, Shea Langoliers that soon, but he's, he's a power-hitting catcher and worth noting. Michael Harris, you know, he... He kind of uh, kind of surprised people maybe how high he was in the prospect rankings after hitting only seven home runs last year, but he's really showing his potential this year at double A, making that leap look easy. Yeah, you said uh, A-plus name for Stone Garrett. A-plus backstory, too. He's 26 years old. He spent a lot of time in the Marlins organization and was out of baseball altogether in 2020, actually working as a realtor. But he has... He came back in 2021, showing more power than he did before. He's made some changes to his swing, his his, his approach. Um, says he's has a better idea what pitchers are doing against him now, and and he's putting up ridiculous numbers at AAA here to begin the year. It's not like the Diamondbacks couldn't use the help in their lineup. Also got some speed to spare. So Stone Garrett, you know, lo- looking like an interesting potential pickup in, in dynasty leagues where all the High-end prospects have, have been picked up already. And yeah, I just got to mention for Roy Salinas, he struck out 52 in 23 and two-thirds innings, a distant first in strikeouts in the minors, uh, at least uh, you know, at the time I wrote this article Wednesday. A little reminiscent of Spencer Strider, how he just 
he's going crazy, missing all the bats in the lower minors, and, and we'll see if he has a similar progression up the up the through the organization this year. That note on Stone Garrett, that is that is really something. So I, I'm rooting for the guy. Let's let's make it happen. That 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 is awesome. Good for him. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, your smart speakers, or anywhere else podcasts are found. And thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. We'll be back again on Monday morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.